Welcome sa sip9.com uh, In this video ay uh, tutuloy natin ang ating series on functions no? and uh, pangatun na ito sa video or sa series of videos natin and uh, kung mapapansin ninyo ay uh, pinalikan natin yung dun sa video number 1, yung sa RF01 no? and uh, to give you a brief background dun sa mga hindi napanood yung uh, video na yun but I suggest na panoorin nyo no? kasi very connected yung mga topics na to, dapat Uh, mapanood nyo siya ng sunod-sunod. This is RF03. Dapat mapanood yung RF01, yung, yung unang code ng video, no? Yung sa title sa YouTube. So, tignan mo na natin tong ano, no? Saan ba nang galing itong mga to? Yung unang situation is, nag, dito siya galing kay Mary Ann. Mary Ann sells cupcakes to her classmates for 12 pesos each. So, brief uh, overview lang or brief background lang. So, number of cupcakes... Tapos yung price. So, pag 1 cupcake, 12 pesos yung benta niya. Pag 2 cupcakes, 24. Pag 3, 36 and so on. No? Dito naman, sa pangalawang uh, situation, uh, nagbigay naman si uh, Miss Reyes ng 50 item test and ito ang kanyang grade na binibigay. Pag 1 to 10 yung score mo, ang grade mo ay 60. Pag 11 to 20, 70. Pag 21 to 30, 80 and so on. No? Ang representation using arrows, no? So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Isa lang yung kanyang uh, score. Ah, yung grade, no? This is score, score versus grade, no? Grade. So, ganun din dito, no? So, 11 to 20, 70, and so on, no? So, hindi ko na din drawing, but, but that's the idea. And third example natin is a relationship na nagsasabing Uh, 2 is a factor of these numbers. So, 2 is a factor of 2, 2 is a factor of 4, and 2 is a factor of 6. No? And napag-aralan na natin that uh, ito ay 1 to 1 correspondence, uh, many to 1, and this is 1 to many. At na-discuss na rin natin na ito yung function, yung 1 to 1 at saka yung uh, many to 1. So, hindi ito function, no? Napag-aralan na natin yun sa unang video. So, if... Alam natin that the quantity here is the, sabi natin, dependent, no? Uh, this is the dependent dependent variable, no? No, no, sorry, sorry. This is the independent. Ito yung independent, no? Independent. At ito naman yung dependent. So, the Price depends on the number of cupcakes. The grade depends on the scores, and this number depends on. It's a factor of, it's factor, no. So, dependent and independent. And if usually sa function, niya represent natin yung x yung dependent. This is x, and this is y, no. This is x, and this is y. So kung mapapansin niyo, no. Ang pwedeng maging function ay itong 1 to 1 at saka yung many, many to 1. Hindi pwede ito. Ang isa sa palatandaan ko para maging function kung wala kayong arrow diagram is for every x, for every x, no? There is 1 and only 1. Nag-iisa lang na y. No? So, itong x na to, isa lang yung y niya. Itong x na to, isa lang yung y niya. Itong x na to, isa lang yung y niya. Ganun din dito. Itong x na to, isa lang yung y niya. 60 lang. Wala siyang ibang y. No? Yung 2 na to, 60 lang. Although, nag-iisa lang siya. No? Ibig sabihin, itong x na to ay marami siyang y. So, ang, isang, ang pinaka-idea ng definition ng function is that for every uh, independent variable, There is only one and there is one and only one dependent variable, no? So for pa bawat isang independent, ibig sabihin pag magkaiba yung dito mo, magkaiba rin yung dito mo. Hindi pa yun na magkaiba yung dito mo tas pareho ka dun sa dun sa x mo, okay? So for ev yun ang titanda nyo. It's either you you check with an arrow diagram and um. I-check nyo yung correspondence or 
you you check with the definition that for every x there is one and only one way so i think ito yung ito yung pinaka idea ng ng function ito yung pinaka definition niya actually no it's a relationship between x and y where x is the the independent quantity and y is of, where x is the independent variable and y is a dependent variable and that for every x there is one and only one y so itong itong definition na ito actually sinasabi lang niya na it's either one to one correspondence or many to one correspondence bawal ang uh, one to many correspondence hindi siya function relation siya pero hindi siya function okay so ang susunod natin na pag-aaralan sa RF04 ay ang paano ba i-represent yung functions i think this is one form of representation using arrows no but uh, uh, usually yung mga sa libro ay titingnan natin kung ano ba yung mga paano ba natin i-represent yung function maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial